Dear Stone Temple Consulting, Thank you so much for your video on how many pages your website should have. After watching your video, I cut out all the redundant, thin, and spammy pages from my website, SoManyPants.com, reducing my overall page count from over 10 million pages to less than 10,000. I can't wait to go check the Google results and see my website ranking number one for pants. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sincerely, The Pants Guy. <clears throat> Dear Stone Temple Consulting, what kind of <laughs> cockamamie <laughs> shenanigans <laughs> trashiferous swindle <laughs> kerfuffle <laughs> outrage? Sincerely, the pants guy. Wow, look at this email. This pants guy is really not happy with us. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's somewhat understandable. He made big changes to his site, probably at significant cost to himself, and he wants to see some return on his investment. Right, and frankly, he will. He just needs to understand that it's going to take some time. That's right, and actually that's one of the most common questions we get is how long should it take before the changes I made are reflected in Google? Yeah, well, how long should it be? Usually about 137 hours, uh, give or take. Great. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Oh, wait. You're, you're lying to me again, aren't you? That's right, Eric. Um, there's, going, there's not going to be a set amount of time. It's going to depend on the type and scope of change, how frequently your site gets crawled, and what part of Google's algorithm is most responsible for registering that change, and whether there's update cycles to take into account. So. The real answer is that most changes are going to take somewhere between one day and six months to be fully taken into account well, by Google. Uh, thanks for narrowing it down, Brian. Yeah, but, sure. Uh, that's not very helpful. Yes. Yes, I can see how you would feel that way. So fortunately, if we drill into the type of change we made, we can have a better degree of confidence in terms of how long changes will take to be reflected. Well, how about simple changes to on-page content? Well, as you know, changes to title tags, page text, and other on-page content can be reflected pretty quickly, uh, really almost as soon as the page gets crawled, so in most cases within a couple weeks. Yes, uh, we have actually seen double or even triple digit SEO traffic growth on pages within a few weeks of improving the title tags and page copy. So why do some changes take so much longer? Well, in cases where you have millions of pages of thin content and a pencil panda or quality algorithm at play, there's a number of reasons why it's going to take a while. Uh, number one, since these pages are low quality, Google probably isn't trying to crawl them that often to begin with, so it may take a while for them to revisit everything. Number two, sometimes people accidentally remove a bunch of pages from their site with no index tags or robots.txt instructions. So Google's going to wait and see if you really intended to make the change. Number three, for these updates, Google isn't just calculating things on a per page basis, but they're looking at the relationships between millions of pages and finding out the new information over time. And it's a much more complex set of information that they're dealing with, and it's going to take a while to digest everything. And number four, it really isn't in Google's best interest to invest lots of energy in making these kinds of changes reflected faster. And why would that be? Well, imagine that once Google started finding big changes on their site, they upped their crawl rate to the max that your servers could handle and re-crunched everything as urgently as possible and got everything figured out in two weeks. Okay, so that sounds great. Why, why not do that? Well, you have to remember, Google wants to give people incentive to remove poor quality pages from the site. So if I can just remove my very worst pages and then find out every two weeks whether I went far enough, I'm probably not going to remove as many bad pages as if I only get a couple chances a year to do the right thing. Okay, so in essence, taking time to process the changes actually helps the algorithms to be more effective 
at what they're trying to do, which is clean up the web. That's right. Uh, if I could get feedback every two weeks on where Google's drawing the line with what it considers thin, then it would be much easier to manipulate Google and find out where the algorithm isn't working as well as Google might want it to be. Well, that's great for Google, but not so much fun for a website owner who's waiting with no idea when their site is going to get out of jail. Is there anything they can do to make it go faster? Yeah, the biggest thing wherever possible is to use 301 redirects on pages you've removed. Uh, if that isn't possible, other good options are 410s, 404s, no index tags, or blocking pages in robots.txt. Canonical tags could potentially work as well, but they're a little trickier to process, and they're also a suggestion, whereas the other solutions I mentioned are directives that Google is always going to follow. That's right. And one other trick, if you want to get Google to revisit the removed pages faster, is to put them in their own unique XML sitemap. Mm -hmm. Yes, and of course, once they do get crawled, you'll want to take that sitemap file down. Yes, it wouldn't make sense to keep directing Google to the removed pages once they've already seen that they're gone. Oh, hey, I have an email from the Pence guy, and he said his website is on the first page now, and he says he's sorry for the last email. Ah. Well, sometimes it happens faster than you expect to. Yep, that's right. <laughs>